Since April 2008, everyone over 60 or those who have a disability and is resident in the UK is entitled to a concessionary bus pass. This bus pass enables its users to travel on local bus services free of charge and was introduced as a means of tackling social exclusion. The scheme is administered through local authorities who receive governmental funding, which then enables them to reimburse bus operators for the cost of providing free transport to concessionary pass holders. Here in Wales, the scheme is funded by the Welsh Assembly Government, and pass holders can use their pass to travel to any part of Wales should they wish to do so. Witnessing so many over 60s queuing up buses is testimonial in itself to the success of the scheme. But in this insecure financial climate of imposed cuts that we're now living in, how secure is the future of this scheme? And if it did become a casualty of the cuts, how much would this affect the lives of those very much now dependent on its existence to get out and about? I ask this question to some of Swansea's senior citizens. I find it very useful. Um, now I'm on pension. Um, I got to travel to my mother's um, once or twice a week, which is from Swansea over to Trapton, and I know that that would cost a bit if I was paying out of my own pocket. Um, well, in all ways, we've travelled uh, to Cardiff and had cheap rates going on the shuttle. Um, so we get about uh, better now than we would have had if we were paying. We wouldn't have uh, travelled so much, I don't think. All the people have to pay all the same prices as everybody else for fuel and for food, and it's all going up. And it's, it seems a shame that in our later years, one of the perks of getting older is to be able to come into town free. And um, it would be very, very sad to have it taken off us because I think it serves a social need, allowing people to get out of their houses and mix with other people. I'm using it to go to Port Talbot, um, which is, so I get the bus from Marston where I live to here, and then the, then the bus to uh, to Port Talbot. So we use it a lot. I miss it. We we get the bus here, so we just walk. We walk from here to well, we've only walked to Blackpool today. Sometimes we walk all the way to Port Talbot. I come down to, to do the shopping and to the library, and I go to the stadium to get my shopping. If uh, the Welsh Assembly Government decided now that they were going to get rid of it because of the cuts, how would it affect your life? I don't think we'd go out as much as we do now. We go out every day now. I don't think we'd be going out as much as we do. We'd be walking more. We do walk a lot now, but I wouldn't be able to get to my mother's as often, and I'd have to pay probably taxi fares and bus fares, which we wouldn't be able to afford at the moment now. I use the bus to go to the hospital because it's such a lot easier to come from Morriston on the metro all the way to Singleton. It saves on to park, it's quicker, it's easier and it makes my life a lot easier so you don't have to drive. Especially really because it's with my eyes so I can't drive. My bus pass, a ticket of freedom, a means of escaping isolation. The bus pass is quite done to me. As I got no other form of transport, I use it a couple of times a week to go into Marks and Spencer's in Swansea. And by, if you were to remove my bus pass, therefore you're attacking my, my old age pension. You, you, you could be reducing my pension by 16 to 20 pound a week. So it'd be 16 pound to 20 pound a week per stop. I think the bus pass is essential to people of Wales. Because not only for me, but a lot of people like, like well, some of the boys here, they use it every day. I only use it occasionally. I need to go up to the Liberty Stadium on the big bendy bus, which I think is a brilliant bus. This bus pass allows me to visit my mother four times a week. If I wasn't able to do that, she herself would be isolated. This is the same all over Wales. We must not let government, central or local, cut the bus pass. If the bus passes all people, they wouldn't get anybody in town. Because you can't afford a park there. And that's the purpose of it. I mean, these old gears, you'll know what you want to be, but I'm old of course, but these old gears make the most of it. They send a day out for them, they go to Vegas, they don't they? 
But that's one of the biggest problems is the parking fees, it's worth it. They can pick up the bus right outside the house if that right. And they go past Arbic and then one day to Nesky, another day to Marlin, another day, right? Because it's cheaper for them to go out for the day. And it is to stay at home and make their own food and, and uh, pay for their heating and that. And it is cheaper for them to go out for the day. Right? And it's even cheaper to go on holiday if you like for the week, in, in some cases. But I know that they're going whenever they can, they do every day of the week, get a bus pass on the bus outside the house, into, into Swansea, then from Swansea, they're on the bus where to. My stay, Bridge End, Camarden, Nestle, Abergavenny, Eberville. My pass, my freedom, no cuts. My pass, my, pass, my, my freedom, freedom, no cuts! cuts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>